Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. That's it. The walls have finally closed in on Donald Trump. Take that, orange man. We're finally arresting you for treason, for working with that Hitler known as Putin to overthrow America. Oh, wait, no. No, we don't. That's not what we're doing. Well, we're definitely arresting you for pissing on hookers in Obama's bed. No, we're not doing that either. Okay, all right. We're definitely arresting you for insurrection. No, not doing that. Okay, well, what are we arresting him? What are we arresting him for? I forgot again. Misdemeanor charges of paying hush money to a stripper? Is that even illegal? <laughs> Is that even... I see people rape and murder in New York City. You guys let them go. So, but this, 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 we got to AOC's running around. We got an incarceration problem. We've got an incarceration problem. We got to let violent criminals out. Oh my God, it's so weird that he's killed 15 people. He's a cannibal rapist. Let him go. We got an incarceration problem. But, you know what? Let's go after Donald Trump. And it's totally not political, by the way. This, 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 ain't, no, this ain't political. Of course it's political. And by the way, the entire point of what's going to happen, apparently on Tuesday, are all of the images, they want Donald Trump frog-walked probably very slowly in front of all of these cameras. They want him handcuffed. They want to take the mug shot. They want to take pictures of him in a jail cell with a small, I don't know, thing of milk with tiny hands. And then they got to release him. And then they're going to run around between now and 2024 and go, oh, Donald Trump's been right, Donald Trump's been right, Donald Trump. But you got to still take the dude to court and then you got to prove your case in court, which you're never going to be able to do. Everybody involved in the situation is a criminal, and they've been in jail. Or they've lost court cases like Stormy Daniels. So Stormy Daniels had to pay Donald Trump's lawyer fees because she failed to prove her case in court. Donald Trump's lawyer who facilitated the hush money payments, that dude's just freshly out of jail for being a criminal, allegedly. You don't want to get sued by that dude. And then the, the dude who was Stormy Daniels' lawyer, Avenatti's in jail right now because he tried to extort, I think, Nike. These are all criminals. But Donald Trump got to go to prison. They want you to go in front of this uh, jail. And they want you to be there in very close proximity to all of the left-wing goofballs celebrating. They want to take a bunch of angry Donald Trump supporters and throw you at crazy lunatic lefty supporters right in front of this jail cell. Boy, what could possibly go wrong there? Well, violence. And if they can't get the violence organically, I imagine they might have a bunch of embedded Donald Trump supporters in full masks, skinny jeans, and Donald Trump flags that were most recently purchased and still have creases in them. And they'll get violent. Wow, that's weird. They won't get arrested. But everybody else will be demonized, vilified. You know, of course, it'll be, Donald, it'll be Insurrection 2.0. That's the point. That's the point. None of this is none of this is to actually arrest Donald Trump and keep him in jail forever. Look, this is what he put out. He put out two of his Trump his Trump tweets on True Social today. This is the second one. Page two. Now illegal leaks from a corrupt and highly political Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which has allowed new records to be set in violent crime and whose leader is funded by George Soros, indicate that with no crime being able to be proven and based on old and fully debunked by numerous other prosecutors. Fairy tale and far away leading Republican candidate and former president of the United States of America will be arrested on Tuesday of next week. Protest, take our nation back. So, he's telling everybody. He's uh, he's got the information. He knows what's happening. They're going to arrest him on Tuesday. They want the images and the uh, the photographs. They want the video. They want all of this as a way to slander the dude and move forward. I think. That bottom part's a big mistake by the guy. He should protest at Mar-a-Lago. Protest where we control the environment. A protest in New York City in front of a New York jail is real stupid. I know there's a bunch of people. Oh, you're just a fake. You don't ever want us to protest. You don't ever want us to stand up and take back our country. Protesting is stupid. It's just stupid. These people who are doing this and setting this all into motion... They're blowing up Ukraine trying to start World War III. They're blowing up natural gas pipelines at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. These people are crazy. They're arresting Donald Trump in an attempt to stoke violence. You think if uh, 100,000 100, people showed up outside this other, they'd go, oh, oh, never mind, we're, we're going to stand down. All right, we're going to knock all this off. Okay, release him, drop all the... No, oh, God, they're protesting. No, no, they want the violence. They're hoping for violence. If they don't get violence, boy, they're in trouble. We're gonna, they think the mugshot of Donald Trump, they think Donald Trump in handcuffs, they think that hurts him. They think that hurts his run. This is this is all 
trying to stop the dude from running in 2024. They're trying to throw water on his rocket fuel run for 2024. The only way that any of this works is if there's violence outside that jail. Organic or if they manufacture it themselves. So that's what I would be looking for. I'm watching this whole thing play out and the only way they win is if there's somehow violence outside this jail. Violence outside that jail. Violence is stupid. Violence is going to turn off normies. Violence is what they want. If we remain peaceful, if you protest or party over in Mar-a-Lago and show that we don't give a shit about this, if you show that we're going to still support the dude, if you remain peaceful and don't give him an opportunity for shenanigan false flags, then it's over. And so this will be just like impeachment one, impeachment two, all these other hoaxes, all these crime hoaxes. The dude will come out with even more support. So the only way that this helps these illegitimate people, these deep state, these lizard people, the rhinos and the Democrats, the only way that this helps them is if they can get violence out of this. They are looking for the violence. The dude's going to take a mug shot and then he's going to be released and this will never end up even in court. This is just like the raid. They, they, they were hoping that they could ride... Oh, Donald Trump was right. Donald Trump... He can't possibly run in 2020. He was raided. He was raided. He was raided. And then he just moves on. Just moves on. The dude got more, more, more powerful after that. More positive. Because he's just proven the point. The evil people are persecuting the one person who could stop them. And people are starting to recognize Donald Trump's not insane. He's not lying about this. These are all witch hunts. They're all political persecutions. And this will be just the next, they're, they escalate them. They're, they're, they're getting crazier and crazier and crazier, but nothing will ever come of it because if they had something on the dude, they would have arrested him years ago. They would have kicked him out of office years ago. It's New York City. They're killing each other over there and they don't arrest anybody. They're raping each other over there and they don't arrest anybody. But a, but a process crime over here, a misdemeanor? This will backfire bigly. As long as we celebrate the mugshot, as long as we take the mugshot and say, we don't, that's awesome. Our dude was arrested by an illegitimate deep state. That makes him even more awesome. It just proves our point even more. So watch out for dudes in skinny jeans. Watch out for full mask dudes in skinny jeans pretending to be Trump supporters. Because I got a feeling that's where this is going. Because that's the only way that they get any type of victory out of this. There you go. They're coming for the dude on Tuesday. We'll keep you updated and informed. Thank you so much for watching the video support channel. If you want to be kept up to date on this optics war, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.